actually scrolled all the way through that list of every Pokemon move in the main series game. So that's what this video is. So don't forget to drop a like on the video and let's start things off with the first move, Quash. What the hell does this do? Quash is a dark type status move. It does damage, but the target of Quash will move about speed the opponent which it was already going to do. In double battles, it's extremely postponed. Sure, you can force an enemy Pokemon to outspeed the opponent when normally it would outspeed the opponent. Also, you may be thinking it could be useful as a Z-move, but what the hell does this do? If it's powered up into Z-Quash by Dark and EMZ, the user's speed's postponed for a Z-move. And remember how I said it's a TM? Well, that TM is easy to get. It's hard work for a move. So of course, it's gonna fade into irrelevancy. Number two is Inferno. And no, I don't mean Inferno. Inferno was introduced in Generation It's basically a special fire type version of Quash. You've probably this move for two reasons. The first is that its learn set is extremely, and only Slugma can learn it by breeding. The other reason is that it's not a very good move. So basically uses it. 50% accuracy is really, basically, if you want to burn the opponent, you use Quash. If you want to do a lot of fire damage, you either sacrifice a bit of power and get 100% accuracy and use Quash. Or you get more power and more accuracy by using Quash. So, you never see it. Number three is Quash. Belch. Belch is a poison type special attack. It is base 120 power, 10 PP, and 90% accurate. That is Belch's downfall. Poison. But the stupid gimmick, this berry gimmick is made worse. In short, it's extremely used Belch is Ion Deluge. Ion Deluge, which was introduced in Gen 6 and is an electric type status move. It has a priority of plus one, like quick attack, and causes all normal type moves used in the rest of the turn to become electric type moves. Like the other moves on this list, Ion Deluge is too situational and therefore rarely used. Number five is Shield, and I had genuinely never heard of this move until I started working on this video. I was actually expecting it to be a fairy type move. Shield is a plus three priority status move that protects the user from enemy status moves for that turn. If the moves do damage, for example, Shell Smash, they are protected. It can be used on consecutive turns without failing. Unlike the other moves we've discussed so far on this list, I can actually see Shield being somewhat useful in a double battle situation. Like, if you think the opponent's gonna quash your physical attacker, so you use the shield to protect it on that turn. It's still pretty situational. The reason you've probably never heard of the move is that almost no Pokemon can learn it. Only Clefki could learn it in Generation 6. Interestingly enough, he had two signature moves in Gen 6, one being Shield and the other being Quash. Number six is Eerie Impulse. Eerie Impulse sounds like it'd be a ghost type move, but it's actually a ghost type move. But for this move, probably haven't heard of it, is its accessibility. Of all the Pokemon that can learn it by level up, only one, one caught in the wild can actually learn the move without using move tutors. The one that can is a 4% encounter chance Voltorb on Route 1 in Auris. So since the move is 